Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W, make sure you're following me on Instagram. And talking about Instagram, today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different as I'm gonna sway off from my usual Marvel Legends reviews as I'm gonna review something a little bit different. Now I put up a poll on uh, my story on my Instagram at It's Dan Who, asking if I should review these Power Ranger Legacy metallic figures as I picked up the whole way very recently as I was very curious of these guys. And the poll won uh, with 61%. So it wasn't an astounding win, but nevertheless it won. So I'm gonna stick to my promise and I'm gonna review the whole set, including the bonus uh, white Ranger that I managed to pick up as well. I did try to get the green Ranger, but apparently he's really hard to find cheap. Um, and I wasn't going to break the bank. Power Rangers was one of my first loves as a kid and I had all of the toys as a kid uh, but obviously don't have them anymore. But I've seen all of the hype online of these guys so I was just curious and I wanted to pick them up for myself. So as you can see as we flick through the images I do have the whole wave uh, but my table is not big enough to put all the boxes on the table at once so I'm going to start one at a time. Uh, starting with the Red Ranger. Uh, I think his name was Jason, uh, the original Red Ranger. And uh, yeah, all of the boxes are the same as this. Uh, they're all the new metallic ones that come with their weapons, as you can see. It says limited edition on the side. And of course, we're talking about the classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one that started it all. Uh, I think, as I said, I was about maybe five or six when these guys started to come out. And yeah, there you go, that's the whole wave. As you can see, I have them all. Uh, the blue, yellow, pink, and black. I think black was my favorite, that, spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah, this is the box, the same box in them all, uh, and all of these figures come with the weapons. Apparently, the, when these originally come out, when they wasn't metallic, they didn't have their weapons, and some of the paintwork was a little bit inaccurate. So hopefully these guys have fixed it. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, start looking at them one by one and take them out of the box. Pow, so here's the Red Ranger out of the box. And to be fair, first impression of these figures are very, very good. Considering I'm a Marvel Legends collector, these are sort of Marvel Legends scale and they have all of the articulation you would expect. Uh, so very impressed. This guy comes with a couple of accessories. It comes with the holster. Uh, he comes with the gun and that gun obviously goes into the holster and the holster just clips on to the side where the little peg hole is, nice and simple. As you can see, I've pulled out the blue background as I it didn't look too great on the white, on white, to be honest. I wanted to show off these figures decently. And yeah, there you go. That is, a, as I said, I believe it to be Jason, the original Red Ranger. And he comes with his sword. Don't ask, don't ask me what the actual name of the sword is. I'm just going to call it sword. Um, but yeah, very, very decent. Uh, as I said, this is the new metallic versions. Um, I never had the original one, so I don't know if there is much difference. But from what pictures I've seen online, these guys actually look a little bit better. And considering they come with the weapons and the more accurate paint details around the coins, um, then yeah, I'm very happy I got this, uh, these versions. Uh, as you can see, the coin, I don't know how well if I zoom in, you'll be able to see the coin actually has uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think that's what it is, uh, when they said it's morphing time. Oh, but my memory's gonna be killing me for this review. I so should have uh, done a little bit of research. But still, uh, as I said, all the articulation is there in regards to the shoulders. They've got double jointed elbows. The hands are on a ball hinge as well, sort of like uh, SH figure arts. And considering these are made by Bandai, then uh, I'm not surprised uh, that they don't lack articulation. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely be able to get this guy into some decent poses if I was any good at that type of stuff. Uh, would he hold the weapon with two hands? Yes, he will. Um, I think in the show that these are uh, weapons all connected to make um, a gun of some sort, but I don't think these weapons do that, unfortunately. I've seen a lot of people buy those um, Imagine Connects figures that have been doing that, but they just look a little bit out of scale for me. But yeah, Red Ranger in all his glory, looking all right, to be fair. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. What color is it gonna be? Pow, it's black. Uh, as I said, this was my favorite as a kid. I think I really liked his weapon. I think the original Black Ranger was that, and then it went to Adam. I think both of them wore this outfit, but again, don't quote me. This guy again comes with the same accessories. Of course, he comes with his different weapon, but in regards to the gun holster, exactly the same. Clips in, and then the gun goes in there. Um, simple. We don't get the gun, and unfortunately doesn't have any articulation, so you can't open the gun but at least it sits in the holster rather than it being molded as that is one of the issues I always have with uh, Marvel Legends. And I really, really like his ax, his ax slash gun. 
I just always liked that as a kid. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty cool to be fair when he's holding it as well. Um, again, articulation is in all of the right places. Yeah, he's metallic. I can't even get the, the axe in his hand. It's my fat fingers, people. There you go. It's in there. That's what she said. But yeah, really good. Sort of looked like he's playing some sort of guitar. But yeah, really like the Black Ranger. Um, again, the metallic sort of gives it a nice little shine in the light as well. So they look good on the shelf. Um, so again, really happy with this figure. Again, if I zoom in, you will see that it is the Mastodon. Um, I don't know how well that's showing. But yeah, it is the right coin. So um, happy days. But yeah, there you go. That is the Black Ranger. So, what colour is going to be next? Next up we have the Pink Ranger, aka Kimberly, my first love as a child. I genuinely think she was my first crush uh, when I was a kid. Uh, she comes on a different mould, obviously, because she's a female, but the articulation is all there. She's got this skirt piece, um, and she's a little bit thinner than the, the lads, of course. Um, but the articulation is all there, to be fair, and the skirt piece doesn't... Well, I suppose it does hinder articulation a little bit, but it's all there. Uh, that's the main thing. Um, she's even got... Oh, no, she hasn't got double joint elbows. They're doing the, the Hasbro female Marvel Legends. What is it with toy companies not wanting to give females double jointed elbows? I really don't see the problem. Uh, but she still looks good, to be fair. Um, very accurate. Uh, and she comes with some more accessories than the other figures, which surprised me until I, uh, when I took it out of the box. So of course, she comes with gun holster and gun. So same as always, gun goes in the holster and it clips on the side there. And she also comes with her weapon, which is her bow and arrow. Um, bet she's going to fall now, isn't she? Stand still. She's got like a warped leg from the box, which I need to heat up. But yeah, she comes with a bow and arrow and a separate bow, which I thought was interesting. Obviously, no bow string or anything. Um, and you can't attach the bow onto the arrow. Um, but it's still nice that they included that. And she also comes with an interchangeable hand, which I thought was a nice touch, which I suppose is to hold the bow and arrow. So as I said, the, the hands were on a ball peg. So I'm hoping these don't snap. Nope, there you go. So nice and simple ball peg. Hand goes off, the hand goes on. It's only the right hand that you get an interchangeable hand for. And then I'm assuming she holds the bow with this one. Yeah. And then maybe the arrow with this one. I don't know. Again, I'm not very good at posing figures, but maybe that's what she does. Uh, to be fair, it's because there's no string. If she had a string, then that's how you'd pose it. Like that's her bow string hand, but there's no string. So maybe you can do some of your own um, customization and add some sort of string. Actually, did she have a string in the TV show? I can't even remember. But nevertheless, the bow looks good. Um, again, she has the correct power coin. I think hers was pterodactyl. Um, so yeah, all the paint apps are correct. And yeah. Decent, decent figure. Again, I really like the metallic shine on this. The articulation is decent. Just a shame about no double jointed elbows. And then you can't move a leg too far forward because that skirt piece. But it does go out decent enough. I can't go back that much either. So yeah, maybe a little less articulation on these female figures, but that ain't going to bother me. I'll have her in some sort of normal pose on my shelf. Sticking with the females, let's show Trini some love with the Yellow Ranger. And I thought she'd be on the same body mold as the uh, as Kimberly in the Pink Ranger, but she hasn't got that skirt piece in the middle. So straight away, articulation is a little bit better because there's nothing hindering the leg articulation. So uh, yeah, I genuinely just assume that she wore the same outfit, but clearly not. Um, so yeah, again, same accessories in regards to the holster uh, on the side and then the gun. That, um, oh, this one, yep, that's fine. And then the gun goes in the holster, easy. I feel like I'm putting them in the wrong way around, but whatever. You get the point, people, you get the point. And then she comes with a, I think, saw blades, is that what you call it? Hang on, I can't get it to stand. Stand, there you go. Um, she comes with these saw blades, again, very accurate to the, the show. And she can hold them in both of her hands. I really like that these figures come with the weapons. Um, uh, definitely better for posing. Look a bit cooler on the shelf if you think having Power Rangers on your shelf is cool. I do, but I doubt many will. Um, so yeah, there you go. She's got the saber-toothed tiger on her coin. 
very accurate. And yeah, so uh, that's Trini. Again, no double jointed elbows, um, but still, I suppose you can get her in some uh, decent poses. I've always liked her helmet as well. Um, and yeah, that's Trini. So obviously, there's only one of the original five left. Let's have a look at him. And last by no means least in the original five, we have Billy, one of the longest serving Power Rangers, I believe. I think he lasted throughout many of the seasons, uh, whether if he was a Power Ranger or a mentor, but I know he was in it for a while. Uh, I stopped watching after uh, Multi Morphin, so don't quote me. Maybe I'll watch the Dio, I can't exactly remember. But as you can see, he's got the same accessories in regards to the gun and the holster. And then he comes with his sort of trident it's not a trident but that's what i'm going to call it it doesn't come apart like it does in the show but it's still decent enough um and he looks pretty cool holding it uh his power coin is of course triceratops if it will focus there you go you can see it um and i probably picked the wrong color background uh to review this guy or at least have a look at this guy but you get the point the metallic is decent again and yeah articulation is there i've really I'm liking these figures now. I've got them all out of the box. Um, so let's have a quick look of uh, how they look together. And before we look at our bonus figure, let's quickly just look at the whole wave together. Uh, they look really, really good together. I'm not going to lie, people. I'm definitely going to probably keep these and find a place on the shelf. Uh, I just need to hide them from the girlfriend. But yeah, they're looking really good together. I like the metallic sheen. I love that they have their weapons. It makes them pop a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, let's review our bonus figure as in the White Ranger. And then I'll do some comparisons with some Marvel Legends that I've got. Pow, and last by no means least, as a little bonus at the end of this, let's show off Tommy the White Ranger. I did try and get the Green Ranger, but as I said, he was a little bit out of my price range as he come out a few years ago, maybe. Someone let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, White Ranger is still part of my childhood, so he was definitely a must-get as well. Come part as a different wave, wasn't part of this metallic wave, but he still come with his weapon, which was a nice touch. Uh, as you can see on the back of the box here, you can see he come part of wave three with a couple of the Zeo Rangers and also a builder figure piece. Uh, well, he didn't come with a builder figure piece, but this wave you got to build the Megazord. But the Megazord was only about six inches tall, um, and I would have preferred one in scale. Someone do the math. What size would that have to be to be in scale with six inch figures? Um, but yeah, nevertheless, happy to have this guy. Let's open him up, have a look. And here he is out of the box. I've pulled out the blue background again as he would have just vanished into the white. In regards to accessories, he comes with his holster, uh, but no gun. But I think the holster holds his sword, which we shall look at in a minute. Um, so yeah, let me quickly just look at the sword. Uh, this sword, I think it has a name. I think it's Sheba, but don't quote me. I know that little tiger. Is it a tiger? I don't know. Wolf, whatever. That talks in the cartoon anyway. Um, my cousin had one of these as a kid. That's all I remember. Um, but yeah, that, you can hold it, obviously. Or does it go in? Oh, there's a little slit. Okay, very clever, very clever. There's a little slit in the holster where this will go now is it just like that or is it further up it's got to be further up hasn't it i could just pull out a picture and uh google what it is but as i said i'm doing this i'm freestyling this so i'm not going to cheat but i'm assuming that will do is that how he holds it i don't know maybe i'll just have him constantly holding it on my shelf um again people my posing skills are not great i'm just like buying them and talking about them um but yeah he looks really good he's not the metallic version uh, so he is just a matte white, but he still sort of fits in, I think, with these metallic figures um, as he's got a bit of the the gold on there as well. And he is the same. Uh, is he a little bit taller? Yeah, maybe a little bit taller than uh, the Red Ranger. Maybe, depending on if I've got the legs bent or not. But still, all in scale, all look good. Um, and yeah, very happy to have him. Again, it would have been nice to have the Green Ranger um, as he come before the White Ranger, I believe. But uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get it. But articulation is all there. The shoulder piece is, oh yeah, that sort of, this is like a separate piece. I'm guessing you could pull that off if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. It feels like it's glued on there, but that doesn't bother me. Um, it doesn't hinder articulation at all in regards to the shoulders. Leg articulation is there. Look at that. You can do the splits. That would hurt, mate. That would hurt. Uh, but yeah, decent, decent. Would have been good if these come with some unmasked heads. That would be good, wouldn't it? But maybe that's asking too much. Anyway, that's the White Ranger. Let's um, let's put him with the crew. And just before we finish up, I thought I'd show you some comparisons with some Marvel Legends. And they do scale in quite well. Obviously, they are a tiny bit taller than your average bookie cap 
size figure, uh, but they do scale in decent enough. Um, so let's throw in maybe, there's the Tom Holland Spider-Man. And to be fair, Tom Holland's a kid. He was a full grown adult. So that sort of makes sense. Actually they're teenagers, ain't they? Still, you know what I mean? And then here's a female figure. Again, they scale quite well. A tiny bit taller, of course, but decent enough. Let's throw in a female just to see the female difference. Females are exactly the same height. So um, if the head's popped off, which I don't want to break the figure, but it doesn't seem to want to pop off easy, so I'm not going to force it, but it would have been good to try some maybe some head swaps with some maybe female Marvel Legends. Um, that would have been pretty good. Pow, so final thoughts are I'm very happy I picked these figures up. They do look great together. I'm very happy they've got their weapons. The metallic shine makes them pop a little bit more on the shelf. Disappointed I couldn't pick up that Green Ranger, so if anyone can get hold of that for me, it'll be much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, very nostalgic figures for me. Power Rangers is one of my first loves, and I, I love it how they scale in with the rest of my figures on the shelf. Um, yeah, very happy. Look at that. It's like they're part of the same world. Universe is colliding. Um, but yeah, happy I got these figures. Uh, so very quick review slash my thoughts on these figures. Um, decent. If you're a Power Rangers fan, pick them up. You won't be disappointed. Um, I believe all the other waves are coming with Neo and Power Rangers in space and whatnot. Uh, but as I said, these for me, Mighty Morphin, that's where my brain goes to when I think Power Rangers. But I'm babbling, as I always do, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to ask you politely to hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Are you buying these Power Ranger figures? Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I shall see you on the next one.